Welcome to DCL Radio. Uh, you are listening to DCL Talk Show. Uh, today is uh, June 21st and time is 9.03. Uh, Just when I thought this is another exciting week and uh, very, I think uh, this is the first week where we, uh, I thought all games are on without um, any interruption from uh, rain guards. There was one game got interrupted by um, committee guards. So, and... Um, uh, we will touch a little bit on that one and then uh, straight away getting uh, we'll get into our um, regular uh, sequence first we will talk about last weekend uh, games a little bit analysis on those and uh, as usual predictions and before i um, introduce our guests i'm still waiting for inti to join the show uh, right now i have uh, a regular analyst um, kk Wamsi, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jigen, and uh, welcome all the listeners. Uh, finally, we had a week where you know all the games happened, and uh, barring one game that was a human error, and as Jigen said, we'll get into those details later. But uh, you know, even though there was there was a scare late Friday with the rain happening, you know, the clouds cleared by Saturday morning, and you know, fortunately, we had about 14 games with results. Yeah. And uh, you know, um, today Jesse is uh, not uh, Jesse is busy with uh, his personal work. So uh, we have brought in uh, somebody who is uh, very close to me in uh, Detroit uh, cricketing circle, and uh, the man who speaks his mind and very dashing batsman, uh, loved by everyone in uh, DCL community, uh, none other than Malik Patel. We all call him Maula. Welcome to the show, Maula. Thank you, Jagan, for having me here. Okay. With that, um, let's start a little bit about a simple question. We uh, Let's not uh, discuss too long about this one. A quick question. S- um, what needs to be done when a committee makes a simple error? Like, for example, say last week there was a game between SSK and um, and uh, FHCC, it's supposed to be on Sunday and accidentally um, we put that one as Saturday. Okay. And um, both teams went there, started the game and one of the teams was in uh, commanding position and in the first innings they scored uh, uh, 160 runs and uh, this is a new team, very desperate to um win a game and they are in a they were very confident that they can win ssk and suddenly uh, uh realizing that that uh, field was not booked so taken over by uh, soft ballers and <laughs> game stopped there so in that situation what is the solution for the run i mean in all these days we are blaming each other all that stuff is done Okay, it's committee's mistake. There's no doubt about that one. Everybody in, in the committee are uh, guilty about that one and they are feeling very bad for this situation. So, Maula, if you are in that situation, what do you do? New game. New game. New day, new day, new game. New day, new game. So, do you need any special rules for that one? Or is committee it... should decide. Committee should call because, you know, we are all human. We make mistakes. And, one, I mean, mistakes are made by humans only so i don't uh i would say committee should stick with their decision and say just whatever you guys decide is final i mean if you guys decide to redo the game next day or split the point or whatever you guys decide because there's so many games we play in here you know there's so many teams and it's hard to manage all this so i would say a few error here there is you know i understand if i if my team in the same situation we would have problem and stuff but I guess it is what it is, you know what I mean? One, two mistakes are allowed. So I think committees who just decide whatever they, they think is the best for in that situation, you know. Okay, thanks a lot for your opinion. KK, what do you say? So Jagan, I've been playing DCL for about four years. Okay, and every year we had in excess of 225 games. And this year there are 238 league games. And, you know, let's call it, say, on an average, we have about 250 games, and 
out of 1000 games i think this is the first time i have seen an error human error which caused a yeah. game, match interruption which is like that's a 0.1 percentage i'm only talking about last 4 years okay and the probability of mistake is very very minor and we should just brush it off uh, you know give both the teams an option to play this game before the league stage ends any day pick their uh, day and committee should just help them you know book a ground and uh, they should play a fresh game as, as simple as that okay. because you know a- any two teams might have been in that situation unfortunately it was those two teams ssk and fhcc and you know unfortunately for ssk they performed well and you know it happened but uh, this is all part of life right uh, some plans don't go as we expect and you know we still make alternate plans and move on this is similar and as malik uh, rightly mentioned these are all human errors so we need not spend too much time discussing all these you know. come on just you, you got one more chance to play just go play if you win you win if you lose again in that's another experience okay now i think uh, imti also joined welcome to the show imti hi jigan uh, welcome to all the listeners okay we were we are just discussing about this ssk fscc where committee uh, made a mistake okay um so did did committee made any decision on this yet uh we are still discussing tomorrow see uh, this is very sensitive issue so we thought of talking to them uh, personally uh, we invited both the captains to have a discussion on Uh, on how to conduct this one in in the best fairest way possible okay so decision is is not at made but jigan looks like uh, ssk played their whole inning yes after 25 hours they completed uh, right just before the second innings about to start it was taken over by whoever owns that field who or booked that field so what fcc is what fcc is saying now what they want to do no both want to, both want to play so we just want to uh, clear out their doubts that's it but do they want to play new game or they just want to start where they start from that is you know if i start if we start discussing about that one that will become that will take entire session <laughs> the entire one hour of <laughs> so okay, okay. basically molik both the teams are uh, they are wanting to play but with conditions of play yeah which committee is trying to settle let's between not, the let's not discuss here that's not what we do here okay um uh, imti if you are a captain what do you do okay i land for imti <laughs> imti is going to say okay call me any day i'll come and play <laughs> Think, things yeah. have changed kk it might not be the same answer okay what is your answer yes uh, no no uh, like i was just uh, teasing about that yeah okay. uh, yeah like if you get a chance just go and play that that's the simple mantra because teams are uh, struggling to get a game with this weather condition so whatever chances you're getting just try to go and play a game make a full game out of it okay and uh, let, let's uh, complete uh, this discussion here and uh, and uh, we will uh, i mean committee is definitely serious about conducting this game and uh, and what they are going to do uh, will leak will come to know only on saturday okay with that saying let's get into our regular uh, regular season games uh, which happened last week before we start these games i just would like to say thanks to all the umpires um, i'll just read out their names uh from try hawks archit jain vijay shah shamsuddin navin from pokeries ranjit and satish from safaris naresh and uh, sahas sahas or suhas sorry if i uh, pronounce it wrong from legends praveen suda from rockers gaya naresh ravi mohan from glcc samish samita pradeep and me uh, from stallions jawad randeer ricky and rickin from brownstown imran wirk rehan malik kamran ali rashid malik all seniors and from indus bowls akshit ranj uh, rajit kartik and ankur if i miss anybody please excuse me um 
uh, we appreciate all the empires who have done uh, a wonderful job with that i'll get into our first game of the night uh, we already discussed about uh, ssk versus fscc mt uh, you might have looked at their performance ssk has you know, they have done wonderful job batting first scoring 160 against fscc you have any comments on that yeah i think uh, it was a brilliant batting performance from them like 164 uh, uh, any given day that's like a very very uh, good total and I think right from the go, the top three people, the top three players performed well, uh, scoring 24, 37, and 20 runs respectively. Like I think they had a solid, solid partnership up in the uh, beginning, uh, just paving the way for like that big score. And then again, you have contributions down the order uh, from Arvin, Satish, and uh, they just were ready, uh, chipping in with like uh, 18, 10, 10, 15 odd runs. And then uh, I don't see the extras or uh, listed, but uh, all in all, like it helped them score the 164. I think they would obviously have been very confident after uh, scoring that many runs. And that's why I think they really wanted to continue the game from where they left off. So, but unfortunately things happened and that's where it stopped. But I think it's a very good batting effort. Uh, one of the top scores for the season, 164. Very, very well played. Okay. And uh, the second game of the night is Kites versus Lions. Actually, this is supposed to be taken up by Jesse, but um, now um, it will be taken up by Mola. Mola, your thoughts on this game? Yeah, so I'm seeing uh, Kites did very well on this game. Uh, looks like Wamsi, uh, Singer Mala did very well on uh batting he scored 54 of 64 ball and sunil ando andonda he did very well too he stood there he scored 19 run for his team looks like their batting order did pretty well over there and uh they looks like they uh they totally their score is 139 for seven wickets and they played all 25 hours and lion or all out in 99-10 wickets. Uh, I guess Lion need to work pretty much here. Looks like they haven't won any game in the season yet. So they need to come up with a strong playing 11 as well as they need to work hard to stay in, I guess, a DCL fight here. Looks like uh, teams are, uh, since this, we got new ball, uh, there is no piece of cake anymore as well as, I mean, all we know uh, DCL is not piece of cake anyway, so you know I guess Lion, Lion need to do uh, some more work here. Okay, and uh, our uh, th third game of the night uh, is uh, um, FCC versus Warriors, and um, you know none other than KK, who plays for who is one of the key batsmen for F F F FCC. Your thoughts, KK? Oh, I wish your words transformed into the results there, <laughs> because uh, you know it was a clear bat batsman failure and uh, FCC was playing Warriors and Warriors top four players were not in the game. Jashwan, Dhruv Parmar, Jasneet and Bhargav and despite all that we only scored the 97 runs and thanks to Sujan and Pana who actually built up that partnership at the bottom scoring those 30 odd runs. You know, the partnership was worth 30 runs and if you say it, the scores right, the middle order fumbled uh, big time, like the scores of 2, 4, 1, 4, and 1. And with these type of scores, you don't uh, get to win games against the top teams. And before this week, FCC and Warriors were at the top of the table with the same number of games and points. But with this game, Warriors stepped ahead. And uh, you, you clearly see because you know they played as a team and uh, the toss also helped them because the pitch was uh, damp at the beginning, but that should not be a reason for the loss. Uh, FCC should collectively go back to this game and see what went wrong. And of course, from the Warriors' point of uh, view, even though their key players were not playing, the rest of the batsmen took the responsibility. Omkar, in particular, he was there. He was timing the ball beautifully and getting those twos over the offside. He even hit a six on the mid off. The same uh, favorite area for Maulik as well, right? So, yeah, but they started very aggressively. The first ball of the innings was hit for a six, and from there on, 
you know even though we tried to apply the pressure you know 98 was uh, uh, too too many runs less to defend okay the next game of the night is strikers versus fcc agni uh, very close game striker score 113 and uh, chasing uh, uh, agni could manage only 110 runs losing by 3 in the last over and uh, and uh, the best part is there were um, uh, there were uh, complaints issues about empiring uh, from fcc agni okay with that i'll give it to imti yeah uh, like you mentioned like a very close game uh, losing by like three runs is like heartbreaking for any team uh, after you're in the pursuit for almost like 24 overs of your innings uh, just going into the details of the match like strikers won the toss they elected to bat uh, putting up a very good total 113 uh main stays pankaj and uh, kapil chaudhry in the batting uh kapil has been having a very good season so far uh, all round performer and i think he's just continuing his good form and building upon what he had started in the beginning of the season and uh, like not uh, not uh, too many extras but yeah like in the end the total 113 it's always a good total and uh, with their bowling attack i think they should they 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 pretty much fancied their chances at half time uh, looking at fcc agni's bowling uh, i think their regular bowlers kind of went for some runs uh, where uh, ramesh and moon uh, just getting one wicket each and like going around like five runs per over and then uh, the main uh, bowlers madhu and sai they were like kind of decent uh, economy rates picking up one and two wickets each uh, halfway down the line 113 chasing fcc agni might have had uh, uh, a good chance with their batting lineup because they do have very good batsmen but uh, uh, i think they kind of lost wickets uh, at pretty regular intervals once they had uh, a good start like 25 runs partnership in the in the beginning but then after that looks like they lost wickets in pairs where uh, uh, where the momentum always gets a uh, uh, beating when when wickets are falling on the other end so Uh, i don't see the extras listed in fcc agni's game but they they look like they they had hard time scoring runs and the star performer of the game aditya manurka with three wickets for seven runs in 4.5 overs uh, any bowler who is like giving that economy with bowling with that economy like, should be a star performer and uh, i think he was educated the man of the match so well played strikers and i think they're just are getting the momentum going into the season like this is their third win and uh, uh sitting pretty uh, uh nicely in the pool at this point so congratulations to strikers and hard luck agni so you think it's all because they kicked out uh, pardeep patel to another team <laughs> <laughs> okay. i cannot comment on that but now yeah. <laughs> now let's let's talk about uh, dynamites versus raptors and uh, Maulik Yes So I went for toss I actually lost the toss that's where we were like oh gosh what we did But anyway they they opened batting and looks like uh, their opener as well as their most of the batsmen at from the dynamite they were just defending every ball they they weren't trying to score we were just like what the heck are they doing I mean sorry my language but we were like what are they doing are they I mean personally For, you think they lack like, aggression? Hello? You think they lack aggression? Not aggression at all. Not, they wasn't even they weren't even taking singles either Jagan. They weren't even, you know, I'm not I'm not talking about like hitting boundaries only. They weren't even they were just defending ball. Doesn't matter where you ball. Oh, okay. I, so I was like uh uh this is not how we supposed to play. But anyway, uh I see only one baseman at the end actually two baseman at the end they they did smash couple sixes and they they were aggressive aggressive and that's where I see their score got to 52 or 51 but their their top baseman as well as middle order I don't see anybody try to uh either rotate the strike or anything they were just defending all the balls and uh, our bowling order were good actually that day but our from my point of view our batting it was stress we we didn't do well at all our top orders myself raj amit uh, pravin 
uh, we didn't do very well actually. I don't know. I, I don't want to be give any excuse, but what I was thinking is there's no excuse, but I was thinking that ground actually the where we were playing in Rochester, bowler doesn't have to do anything. They just pitch straight and ball will do automatically. But pitch ground anyway, is there? Once, it was in Rochester somewhere. Rochester. Rochester and I think on Orion. Rochester. Oh, close to the Bloomer. Close to the Bloomer where most of the game happened last Warren week. Buck. Yeah. It was a white soil. But anyway, uh, we were at one point of the I mean, dynamite bowling order were very good actually. One point we were like, we were scared saying, what the heck is happening? <laughs> But uh, Chowji did very well from batting point of view uh, from Raptor, as well as uh, uh, Saurabh and uh, Vikas did well too, as well as Vihar. They stood there and they make sure we win the game actually. But Dynamite, their bowling attack, attack was very well. They need to improve in their batting. And the Raptor, we doesn't play like this, so we need to improve in our batting. And that's all I want to say. Okay, the next one is Canton 11 versus Knight Riders. What a disaster for Knight Riders. What do you say, KK? Yeah, we'll get into that second, but, uh, you know, first, uh, you know, I, I think I'll have to call Molik to find out about the ground. Our next game is in that ground. Okay, um, oh, really? uh, the groundsman is here. Okay, <laughs> so let me tell you something. Maula is, uh, uh, is blaming it on uh, ground because he, 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 look at his score, he's, he's duck out. So hey, he I has said it. I said no excuse, but no, don't look at only mine. Look at other two. Okay. Uh, and uh, and it's the same ground where Sandeep Chatla also got a hat trick. So it's a bowler from the wicket. I understand. And, Thank you. And, uh, and next, there is another question it's to you, Jagan. Same field, uh, very first century score too. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah, I was there. Not the same field. Not the I, same field. If it is if it is the same ground as where Sandeep Chetla got hat trick in the morning game, uh, Arjun uh, scored a century there. Same ground. Okay, that okay. gives a little bit of hope. Okay, uh, but you know, what the, what? you know, we don't I, have time to discuss all this here. Okay. Yeah. I have a question for you, Jagan. Yeah. Okay, so I was looking at the scorecard between strikers and SPC Agni. I think committee has a policy of imposing a penalty for incomplete scorecards, right? Yes. Uh, then why is FCC Agni all out but only eight of their batsmen played? I don't know. Definitely committee is looking into each and every scorecard and they're making a note. And at the end of the season, uh, you know, what they'll get is a nice, you know. Penalty. Penalty. Okay, now coming back to this game, right? Uh, I think Canton 11 struggled their way out to make 93 runs, and big thanks to Heather and Raza. They, they were the ones who stayed there. And uh, looks like Raza got in, in, in the seventh over and he was there and played uh, till the last over. So, you know, most of the credit goes to Raza for you know, p playing a patient innings and making sure they have those 90 odd runs. And they, they have some decent bowlers, uh, but not very great bowlers, but they have decent bowlers. But uh, in this game, I think they had a fantastic day out. Their main bowler, uh, Jawar Hussain, four overs, four runs, and four wickets. Uh, stats which any bowler on any wicket on any day will take. And he was well supported by Vakas Babar and uh, Javed Ahmad. Javed Ahmad, you know, he's a lefty and... Uh, he takes the ball away. He took three wickets as well. And, but, you know, I expected a lot more from KRCC. Uh, probably their uh, players, their main players were playing some other leagues and they did not play because... Uh, or, no, actually, he did play. Osama Khalid, he was playing three down. I'm not sure why because he usually opens the innings for KRCC. And you see, he, he played down. And there were a lot of changes if you compare to the previous games, right? And... I don't think that's good because if you have a winning combination, you have to keep it, keep uh, the ba batting order stable. But you know, too many changes, I think, is what uh, ruined this game for KRC. Yeah, it's uh, six duckouts. What else can happen in this game? Okay, yeah, five, five ducks and one not out. So. Okay, so yeah. no score is a no score, right? Yep. I, I called out. 
yes six zeros okay but you know get, getting all out in 10 hours is something which is uh, true. not true. pardonable yeah the next one is mcc miles versus uh, risers and this year i must say mcc is really firing up empty your thoughts yeah i was just going through the scorecards of the game and uh, looks like mcc had a very convincing win in the end uh going to the game details risers batting uh, uh actually mcc miles won the toss and they decided to field uh which is kind of surprising but yeah maybe they just went with their uh, strength uh risers batting first uh, i just see like two big performances from pawan and uh, venkateswaran 33 and 25 runs and then i don't see any major contribution from the rest of the team uh, also notable is like four duckouts in there and 17 extras from mcc miles helping their cause 96 they could have easily scored more if maybe other batsmen stepped up and that and like ending up on the other side of 100 like less than 100 runs 96 psychologically that makes a difference uh 96 still a good score but uh risers not having confidence or uh, the momentum with them at least until this point in the season i think they were maybe on the lower uh low uh, less on confidence going into the uh, halfway of the game now uh, looking at mcc miles bowling uh, rahul chenna their main bowler like picking up four wickets and then pranith and sai picking up two wickets each helping the cause uh, get, restricting the opponent for 96 uh, mcc miles 101 in 19.3 overs so that that kind of says how convincing maybe uh, the the batting was like and as you can see the usual suspects for mcc miles in batting their main batsmen venkat kongara and sanjay getting 33 and 26 helping in the, in the chase and uh, i see like three sixers from sanjay so that we all know how how devastating he can be when on on a given day sanjay uh, again i see no extras being listed in scorecard not sure if it's an error or in in actuality there were no extras but uh, yeah like once you have batsmen going free free flowing sanjay and venkat hardly the bowlers getting any rhythm or uh, uh wickets uh, only one bowler aman veer singh getting three wickets for 31 runs on on a little bit on the expensive side still but yeah not not much resistance from the bowlers and that led to a compa- comparatively easy victory for mcc miles and venkat ajit adjudicated the man of the match rightly for his 33 uh very good game and like like you already mentioned mcc miles looks like it's on a roll in this season so good luck to the teams okay the next uh, one is avengers versus glads mola what do i say here jagan look at the <laughs> score card <laughs> say something because you know this is actually you are face of this team okay yes, i still yes 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 trust me okay. if you give leader slight chance to glad you done that's what i know hmm the way anub anub is playing this year in hard ball or any ball man he just he just going crazy waybo always awesome in the opening pair uh looks like everybody contribute a little bit, little bit here waybo scored 27 anub scored 23 and so Hari Hari scored from Lansing. I think he scored 22. So that's very nice uh, batting there from Gladiator, as well as their bowling bowling attacks uh, were good too. Looks like they uh, finished Avenger in 39 run only in 14 okay. over. So 39 like 14 overs. Yeah. Yep. So Avengers need to do a lot of work in the both department, especially when they uh, are facing Gladiator. So that's all I want to say sir. Avengers is I think uh, now a uh, third strange team of uh, TCA Knights, okay? Uh they are just playing for fun is what I'm guessing from all this uh from last 3 4 weeks of their scores. Okay, with that the next game is um KECC versus Bulls. KK uh yes jagan kcc being a new team i think they did not play with their captain their captain skipped the game hemant is not in the playing 11 here so you know 
and uh, detroit bulls they started well their top order did well the top three batsmen between them they'll score about 65 runs and they had a very good partnership they had 47 runs for the first wicket and at break time they were uh, about 75 for two and with that platform i thought they should have scored more but you know neil uh, failing might have impacted that neil and nikhil failed of scoring only 7 and 1 but both james uh, came to the rescue they scored 17 and 19 and with the help of those 25 extras they were able to put on 141 in 25 overs and uh, kcc being a new team i think they were still trying to adjust with their batting order and uh, you see if, uh, some of their main scores are coming down the order this season So maybe they need to shuffle their batting order and come up with a proper strategy. As you know, they have played other tournaments but not DCL uh, before. So playing 25 overs is a lot different from playing 20 overs. And uh, you know, maybe they'll learn with experience. Yep, I agree on that point. Uh, there's a huge difference between playing 20 overs and 25 overs. And uh, with that, we'll get into our next game, MI Rangers versus Blues. Last week, everybody predicted MI Rangers to win. It's a, it's a complete, only zero to Blues, and everybody thought yes, Blues sir. would lose. Okay. Looks like Blue won their first game. Yeah. Uh, MI Ranger 84 for 10 in 20 over, 20.4. Blues 85 for 8. They finished it in 23.2 over. Uh, yeah. Looks like in MI Ranger, the batting order did not look like click. Uh, we lost. Reddy scored 14, and uh, Sarwan Kumar scored 11, Lakshmi scored 13, and Anush scored 13. that did not help mi ranger to get to i think i think this this team is if they want to win if they have if they even want a chance to win i think they minimum score 100 or 120 especially with this ball so 84 wasn't enough for blue and uh, looks like blues are doing pretty good i'm happy that they won this game and looks like they are impro- uh, they are they are improving in their batting as well as their bowling uh just want to score 15 of 25 ball in blue As well as everybody looks like contributed a little bit, but here I see Jagan is 31 extra. 31 extra, yes. <laughs> MI Ranger, so, that's too ridiculous actually. <laughs> that is the highest. Actually, yeah, more like I was talking to uh, Jitan, the MI Ranger's captain. What he was complaining is there is a left-handed batsman who was not scoring. He was just standing in the crease, played 50 balls. And uh, the bowlers were all bowling all the wide and giving the runs. I too. saw his name is his name is Verma K. Looks like he played forty five ball, six run. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's the left hand that you're talking about. Okay. I guess MI Ranger they need to do better on that. Looks like their batting is still is not that bad, but they need to improve on that to at least to make sure they score hundred. So they can defend, and especially yes, they need to improve in their bowling too. Blue, congratulations! They did very well here, but they need to. I mean, this left-hander he need to score more. He cannot just play 45 ball and score six. <laughs> so <laughs> Whatever it is, well, one. Okay. Yeah, it it gave them four points, right? <laughs> yeah. See, another thing is, is that KK, uh, the uh, MI Rangers have to fix their bowling, especially against. left-handers otherwise you know any team will try to bring in their left-handers against if not yep. yeah if not to make your batsman one of them into a left-hander and let him play 45 boys <laughs> you're still scoring 30 runs <laughs> yeah all you have to do is defend okay and uh, with that let's get into our next game blazers versus uh, tca knights what happened uh, mt Uh, just before going to the game, uh, I would just like to take this moment and wish our new batting superstar Hari a very happy birthday. Uh, it was his birthday yesterday. So, uh, okay, going into the game, uh, I haven't. Uh, I, I would be very honest. Like I haven't seen our team like play such good batting in like since I, I have been playing for the team. So this is one of the memorable games for us, and looks like uh, our batting is just clicking in the right moments. Uh, we really needed this game after. Uh, our game against indus thunders and this kind of gave us our uh, confidence back and uh, uh yeah like trying to build the momentum from here on uh, going into the game uh, 
uh, we we lost the toss, but uh, uh, I think uh, Ajay was pretty decided that he wanted the ball and he kind of gave us the batting. Uh, going into the batting, uh, the opener started off really well. Uh, Nimesh and Krishna like putting up a 49-run partnership, uh, very free-flowing uh, when when they were in the crease, and then like followed up by Sham who were, like, who stayed for a short time but scoring quick runs, and then Hari like I haven't seen anybody at like with such fluency like 54 from 32 balls uh, with five sixers like effortless batting I would say, and he was very well complimented by Harish Chawa on the other end, 29 from 18 balls. And when these two were uh, in the crease, like they scored approximately around 60 runs in like five overs. So that kind of gave that big, huge uh, boost to this total, 167 in 25 overs. And if you look at the bowling for TCA Knights, uh, I really felt that there was like no uh, uh, effort, real effort, because once the boundaries started coming and the runs got were, were very uh, fast scoring, uh, I think the ballers kind of lost a little bit of their confidence and I didn't see a real effort except for uh, Ajay putting in some good uh, overs in between and uh, Anil who picked up two wickets. Uh, going uh, into the batting for TCA Knights, uh, uh, like once they lost their opener, Tarun, I think, who was their mainstay in batting uh, for the last few years, uh, uh, it kind of went downhill for them, and they kept losing wickets every over. Uh, never got back any uh, uh, like they, they had no resistance at all, and like we we kind of got them out in ten overs, like almost getting a wicket in every over. Uh, if you look at the bowling, I think uh, who, uh, Chandan, uh, who has been like very consistent uh, in picking up wickets every game, was again the mainstay, uh, the star in the bowling department with three wickets for twelve runs. And uh, yeah, I want to end on this note that uh, uh, he he has moved to India for good, so we'll be missing Chandan for our next games. Hopefully, we'll try to compensate <laughs> with 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 some someone else. But yeah, we'll definitely miss Chandan going forward in the season. Okay, with that, I'll uh, we'll get into our next game: Panthers versus Knockers. KK. So, Jagan, you know, I was looking at the past two games of Knockers and um, I am not really sure why P Knockers are leaking too many runs because in the previous game too, I think the opposition scored close to 100 and this game, Panthers made 99. You know, Knockers uh, made 116 for 7 in 25 overs and, uh, you know, their, uh, few of their batsmen did not score. Out of the top 5, 4 batsmen failed. Scoring 5, 1, 1, and 4, but you know, Milan Patel stayed there, hit 3 sixes, scored 29, and he was well supported by uh, their captain Arun. And Suya Gupta tried to provide the fireworks. He scored a sixer and scored 15 runs. Dilip Patel and Deepak uh, then scored 13 and 10, and they were able to put on 116 runs. Coming to Panthers bowling, you know, their main bowlers were not successful in picking wickets. Bharat Kuncharvelu picked up three wickets. Madhu Kurba. Madhu Kurba bowled well. He bowled three overs and gave away only six runs. And But, you know, I don't see him finishing the quota. Probably the captain might have overlooked. That might be an error from Panthers' perspective because if those two overs went for 20 runs in the end, then, you know, they lost by the same 20 runs in this game. And coming to Panthers' batting, uh, you know, Rohit Gokhale, I think he's in good touch. He's a devastating batsman. And he scored 28 and he was well supported by Raghu. Raghu, even though he did not score at a brisk pace, he was there till uh, uh, for 43 balls. He did not throw away his wicket. He, even though the w first wicket fell in the second over, he was there till the 14th over. And I think the other batsman should have capitalized and scored around him, which did not happen. Their next three batsmen got dismissed for eight, two, three, and then the lower middle order, Nikhil Bharat and Deepak tried to score, but again, I think there were too many runs uh, in very less number of balls and uh, wickets. So, you know, again, from Knocker's perspective, uh, one good thing is their captain is in very good touch, both in batting and bowling departments. 
and he should be the man of the match and i i think karun was very shy to declare himself the man of the match <laughs> it's not declared on the website and he was well supported by dilip patel he took three wickets dilip patel which dilip patel is it our dilip patel i, I think maulik can answer that i am not sure maulik is that the same dilip yes, patel yes 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 our dilip patel I think Dilip Patel uh, is trying to make a record for the highest number of teams he played in DCL. <laughs> so he returned back from India? Yeah, exactly. Yes, he is. Yes, yes. He's just oh. busy with the work a lot, so that's why he's not able to play so many games, but he's working around with his schedule and it looks like he's doing he's doing good this year. He's working on his fitness and staying in the gym every day going. So, I think that's working out very well for him. Okay, mm-hmm. let's... So let's see this right. Knockers uh, this year, Gladiators in a couple of years back. Then he played for Avengers, and before that he had his own team. How many teams did uh, Dilip Patel play so far? Seven, yeah. eight. Oh, hmm. I mean three, four, not seven, eight. One his team, okay. Gladiator, and this yeah, is his fourth, I, I his know fourth him from team, four years. Okay. Yeah, this is the fourth. Uh, fourth team he changed. I mean, it's, you know, we are in the United States. Freedom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a very good player. The yeah. next game of the night is Rising Stars versus Mustangs. Malik. Looks like Rising Stars stressed Mustangs here. They finally won the game. And they have scored 154 with 8 wicket and winning 25 over. Uh, Drumil Trivedi score well for them, 44 runs. Uh, all other did decent. That's what I see in the scorecard since I didn't see the balls enter. And uh, Mustang bowling were okay. Actually, I didn't see much in there either. I don't see this scorecard. It looks like yeah, I don't see the upper level scorecard here. So there's not much to say. But uh, looks like Mustang batting didn't do well, very well there. I see the uh, most of the basemen score four, four, three, two, five. So nobody in a double digit. And uh, Rising Star did very well there. Looks like the bowling rank is good. Uh, Jigan, I don't see much in the scorecard form. Looks like uh, Rising Star, so I won't be able to say much. Okay. Uh, let's get into our next game, which is uh, DH versus Indus Thunders. Empty. Um, I, I, I just want to give you one input here. If if playoffs start, or if if today is the finals, I um I have a strong gut feeling that Indus Thunders and Gladiators will be in the finals. Your thoughts about the final predictions? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And you know, I saw Indus Thunders. Uh, I empowered two games, one against you guys, and uh, and, and this one against DH. And uh, they keep coming at you. They keep coming at you with the ball, with the bat. You know, they have plenty of talent. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen Gladiators yet, but the way they are finishing the games is really awesome. So I'm just thinking that, you know, Indus Thunders and uh, Gladiators have enough to make it to finals. So <laughs> with that, we'll, uh, I mean, you can get into the game. Yeah, like even before going to the game, like hypothetically, if that is a situation, I haven't seen Gladiators play yet this season. And with the mergers and all, uh, I don't know how the combinations is working for Gladiators yet. But looking at the results, yeah, it would be a very, very good competition like between these two teams. Uh, too early to take a call on that, but yeah. Uh, going into this game... I uh, something there, MP, sorry. Gladiator, if you see, I haven't seen Arjun Ajbani or Ronan Patel or Harbi play yet, and still they're doing that well. So just imagine, just saying. Right, I, I understand. Like, and that's what I was saying. Like, I haven't seen them play yet, or I, I, all I have is like the scorecards for reference. So, yep, I, I completely agree. Uh, yeah, going into this game, uh, Dark Horses after their like very comprehensive, uh, not with comprehensive, but like very good win against Brownstown. I think uh, came across a bottleneck here against Indus Thunders. Uh, usually, Dark Horses prefers to bowl first, and I think that is where they kind of started off on the wrong foot, where Indus Thunders won the toss and elected to field, putting Dark Horses into batting. And 
I uh, see the Empire Dark Horses won the toss and uh, they elected batting. I think so. Yeah. No, what I am seeing is Indus Thunders won the toss and elected the field. So. Oh, okay. Okay, then my bad. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, going into bat and losing Mahesh in the uh, like the second over, I think that was another setback for them, and like the uh, top four not not putting in any uh, big scores. Like I think Pankaj and Raj Raja Cherkuri uh, putting up a decent show there with like 15 and 14 runs respectively, trying to build a partnership, but losing wickets at the other end, like really didn't get anything any momentum going into the. Uh, middle overs getting all out for six uh, in 16 overs for 60 runs. Uh, if you look at the bowling, I think Manoj, Vijay, uh, Madhu, and Ravi like everybody like bowling decent economy rates and picking up wickets, uh, two wickets apiece by the uh, by their main bowlers Manoj and Vijay. And yeah, like 60 runs uh, with this ball like we have been talking like every week in week after uh, 60 with this ball is is kind of a low total uh, but uh, maybe they, they they fancied the chances because of the good game against brownstown but that was not to repeat this time uh, where manoj singh just took the game away from them like starting from ball one he he scored like 28 runs with three sixers not allowing the dark horses bowlers to settle at all and i think it was uh, uh, again like pankaj also like giving 23 runs in two overs uh, kind of Never uh, had any resistance towards the batting. Uh, like eight overs, they finished of the game. Like I think this kind of reminds me of our game against in the Thunders, where uh, looking at a low total, I think they are just going after the ball, uh, the bowling when they're chasing low totals, not giving any any little bit chance to the opponents to settle down or build any kind of pressure. And I think that's a very good. Uh, uh, tactic when you're chasing low totals, just go out and express yourselves and and just try to finish the game as soon as possible. So yeah, very good game for Indus Thunders, uh, com- comprehensive victory I would say, and uh, sitting uh, pretty uh, in the pool on the top. Okay, last game of the night: Falcons versus Tamil Pasange, and uh, Falcons did what they're supposed to do. And I, I also think Tamil Pasangas, uh, they did what they're supposed to do with the exception of uh, Arjun not clicking in this game. Okay, KK, your thoughts with that? Yeah, well, what is the highest opening stand in DCL, again? Because I see the Falcons put up 115 for the first ticket. <laughs> that's, that's a record. There's no doubt about that one. Yeah, so because uh, scoring 161 in 25 overs is always a huge total. And Tamil Pasange, they scored about 180 or 179 against SSK the other day. And, uh, you know, in that game, the only difference was in that game, their uh, batsman Arjun scored a century, but in this game, he did not do any good. And uh, Venki is a very good bowler from Falcons, so he squared him up. Okay. We had Arjun last week join our show and... Tough luck to him. He had to come across a world-class bowler, at least in diesel standards. Yep. So, you know, coming back to Falcons batting, Shashank played a gem of an inning. Scored 68. No fours, four sixes. And he laid the platform there and he was there till uh, the 18th over. Uh, I definitely think if he would have played 25 overs, there would have been another century this season. I was, was very well empowering. I was expecting him to score a century, and uh, and I, I was really shocked when I heard uh, you know he only scored sixty runs. Hmm. I think Srikanth Gauni, right? He uh, supported Shashank really well, and before you even notice, he scored thirty four runs. So, hmm. And uh, yeah, the rest of the batsmen just tried to up the ante, and they got out cheaply because they only managed to score about forty five runs. Uh, even though they had 10 wickets in the last seven hours. They should have definitely targeted more. Yeah, but again, you know, Falcons played very well. This year, they are yet to face loss, and Winkert uh, might be uh, happily sitting there and uh, looking at the next schedule and fancying his playoff chances. Okay, with that, we have completed all our um, games from last week and let's get into 
predictions. Okay, the first game of the night: MI Rangers versus Dark Horses. Mola, your pick. MI Ranger. Imti. I'll go with Dark Horses. KK. Yeah, after disappointing me last week, I will go against the MI Rangers. I am going to pick Dark Horses. Very good. Okay, the next one is TCA Knights versus Avengers. <laughs> okay, so both are TCA. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> Molik. TCA Knights. Empty. Uh, I'd like to pick TCA Knights, but I think I'll give a chance to Avengers because TCA Knights is kind of on the downhill. They haven't won any game so far in the season. For that matter, Avengers too, right? But at least Avengers, I think they're trying to. Uh, put in some effort, at least from the scorecards. Oh, okay, KK. I'll go with the TCA Knights. Probably, you know, MT is underestimating them because they got them all out for you within ten hours. No, but no, maybe no, TCA no. Knights. Will... <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think TCA Knights will come back strong. The Avengers, uh, I really think uh, Avengers are feeling a very weak team, and uh, TCA Knights will win. Okay. In, next one is Indus Thunders versus KECC. I'm guessing Indus Thunders three uh, zero. You guys have any objections there? No. Nope. Okay. And uh, the next one is I'm thinking uh, uh, there are a couple of games which uh, which can be uh, considered as uh, elite games or game of the weekend. Uh, one of those is GLCC versus Falcons. Molik. Empty. It's a tough one to pick. Uh, I think just based on last week's performance and GLCC not getting, not not playing continuously for the last few weeks, uh, I'll just give a chance to Falcons. KK. Jagan, is the game occurring in Ypsilanti? Uh, no, I think they moved it to uh, Keith Keith Park. Okay, I will go with the GLCC. The next one is Troy Hawks versus Safari. It is, uh, this is going to be an interesting game. I'm, I'm guessing Troy Hawks will win this one. Maula, what do you say? Troy Hawks. Empty. Troy Hawks. KK. Hawks. Risers versus Rising Stars. Tough one. Molik. Who will rise? Who will rise? Wait, wait, let me see. Rises. Rising Star. Rising star. Okay. Imti. Rising stars. KK. Uh, I'll go with rising stars. Ooh. Okay. Indus Bulls versus FCC. I I'm thinking it is FCC, but okay. I am not asking KK. Imti, your choice. FCC. Molik. FCC from me too. Okay, rockers versus legends. Legends all the way. Any yep. objection there? Dragon, you're uh, maybe you forgot the fact. Rockers shocked uh, dark horses the other day. True, but legends. But, have, yeah. Legends yeah, are very. I'm going to pick legends. Is what? Is what uh, I'm. A, I'm a bowling guy. Whichever team has good bowling <laughs> attack, I. I, I okay. always they'll win. Yeah, the game is at 1.30 p.m., which means Srikanth Narne won't be available. He'll be playing at 40. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. The next one is... Uh, uh, you know, Srikanth Narne is known more as a Legends guy than any leather ball cricket guy. I don't know why he prefers... He chooses other game over Legends. I still don't understand that one. But again, that's his choice and Legends choice. Uh, sorry about my comment. The next one is Brownstone versus Blazers. Let's uh, skip MT. Uh, let's start with uh, Molik. Brownstone versus Blazers. Blazers. And I will go with the uh, Bla- I, I, the way MT. I mean, the way the Blazers is performing, I would like to go with the Blazer. But MT is saying one of his bowlers is going to India. I'll still go with the Blazers. Rashid Malik is not playing tomorrow. You guys know that, right? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. In, uh, okay. I cannot ask him. KK, what do you say? I saw the way Blazers practiced yesterday, Jagan. Mm-hmm. They had a unit of 20 plus players practicing. 
Mm. Okay, and there's a lot of competition, and their team is really looking good. And I'll I'll pick the Blazers in this game. Okay, let's see Southfield Super King versus Kites. Wow, this is going to be a very interesting game. A very close game is what I'm thinking. Okay, I, I would say uh, is again the game is again in Ypsilanti, again with SSK. So, is this the right ground? Yeah, yeah, this is the right ground. <laughs> Okay. I asked in good humor. <laughs> It's a right ground for them. If something happens there, I'm sure uh, this guy will uh, come after me. Come after you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, Malik, what's your pick? Kites. Okay. Yeah. Imti. Sorry, the game was between SSK and Kites. Yeah. Uh, I'll go with Kites. Wow. KK. Make it a three zero. Oh, that's interesting. Lions versus Panthers. I'm giving it to Panthers. Any objections there? No. No. Okay. Strikers versus MCCC MCC Miles. This is going to be another interesting game. Molik. Yep. We'll go with Miles. Imti. I'll pick strikers. KK. Miles. Okay, I have a very strong feeling that uh, you know uh Miles are going to win this one the way they are playing right from the ball one right from the game one. Okay. Warriors versus Dynamites I'm thinking it is Warriors all the way any objections? No. Nope. Okay. The next one is Tamil Pasanga versus Canton 11 This is going to be another interesting one. Molik Canton 11 I guess. Yep. Canton 11. Yeah. Canton 11 yep. Canton 11 okay. Up to Canton 11. Imti I'll go with Tamil Pasange. You go with Tamil Pasange. Okay, okay. Now Canton 11. Canton 11 okay. The next the next one is um The last one of the game, TCS Stallions versus Pokeries. This is Pokeries, another... of course. Pokeries. Okay. Imti. I'll go with Pokeries too. KK. Jagan, quick question. Hmm. So when I checked it, uh, I think last Sunday or Monday. I thought this was a night game. I was planning on going and watching this game. What happened? Suddenly, is there a change in schedule? That's a long story, and uh, that cannot be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay, I'll have to call you offline to find out the details. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'll pick. Uh, uh, it's an afternoon game on Sunday. I'm going to pick Stallions. Stallions. Okay. With that, we'll conclude to, uh, tonight's uh, talk show. and uh, thanks a lot uh, molik for uh, molik for uh, uh, yep. coming into the show in the very thank last you, buddy. okay uh, thank you mt thank you kk uh, we will finish this show with uh, last words from you all uh, kk i'll start with oh. you uh, what can i say again we have to thank our listeners for continuously listening to us and uh, you know i just hope it uh, doesn't rain this weekend which has been the trend for the last few weeks and let's hope you know we have most of the game, games and uh, cheers good night okay imti i'll just like oh uh, kk's uh, statements uh, thanks to all the listeners for continuously listening to us uh, every week and uh, for this week Uh, like kk said i hope we get as many games as possible because we have like really interesting matchups uh, at least five or six interesting games like head to head like good competitive games hopefully the rain gods uh, show some mercy and uh, we get most of the games underway and yeah thanks to all the listeners and good night okay. molik well i like to this i like to say thanks to you jagan for thanks for inviting me and thanks for whoever is supporting BCL as well as BCL radio please keep listening and i would recommend one thing to all the team in BCL if even it rain on saturday 
please, please, please try to reschedule your game. Doesn't matter whichever team it is, and try to play Sunday or Monday. But please play the game so you guys will enjoy season. Thank okay, you. we are here to play, not to skip. Yep. Okay, with that, yep. we'll conclude tonight's show. Keep listening DCL Radio, and this is uh, DCL Talk Show. Thanks a lot. Good night.